Hello and welcome to Heathrow Airport. Um, as we know, um, international travel is pretty much back, uh, back on track now in 2022 after a few very challenging years and uh, a lot of tourists are coming to London uh, this year especially because we are celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Also this year the brand new Elizabeth Line has opened on London's transport network. Today I'm going to be travelling to central London using three modes of rail travel. The Piccadilly Line on London Underground, the Elizabeth Line and Heathrow Express. What I want to do is to compare the time of travel, how long it takes to get from Heathrow Airport to Trafalgar Square, which I have chosen as the point in central London which I will be uh, aiming to reach from Heathrow Airport using all three means of transport um, and also the cost of uh, travelling from this point A to point B uh, and we will see how all the three options compare at the end so sit back, relax and enjoy the video first of all I will be travelling on the Piccadilly line from Heathrow Terminal 5 station to Trafalgar Square in central London. I will go to Piccadilly Circus, change for the Bakerloo line and go to Charing Cross Station. I will be using my stopwatch to track time it takes to get from Heathrow Terminal 5 right here to central London and also back. So the first way of travel is on the Piccadilly line, London Underground, Let's see how long it takes, takes to get to Trafalgar Square. Let's go. Let's take this escalator, which says it will get us to the trains. This is not what we need, but we will try. We can see the Elizabeth line just down there. We will take it later and we will see how long it takes to get to central London on TfL Rail. And I think I can see the escalators to the underground and I can actually see the train. And there is a train in seven minutes. So plenty of time to get this train. I'm also using this special edition Oyster card today, which I got on the opening day for the uh, Elizabeth line. So it has been six minutes and a half so far. We're still waiting to leave Heathrow Airport.
changing to the Bakerloo line and the train has just left so the next train is in one minute which is good and then we should be in Chicago Square fun fact about Piccadilly Circus is if you go to the back of southbound platform you will see this little portal to the northbound platform which doesn't really happen anywhere anywhere else on on London Underground like we may need to go through Charing Cross Mainline Station in order, in order to get out the station yeah it looks like and then to get to Trafalgar Square at least I got the exit right this way it's closed so we are just going around we are finally approaching Trafalgar Square and here we are at the Nelson's column in Trafalgar Square so let's see where we are with time so it took us one hour 12 minutes, 1 hour 13 minutes almost to, to get from Heathrow Terminal 5 to Trafalgar Square on the tube Piccadilly Line plus Bakerloo Line You could also fairly, fair to say you, we could also walk from Piccadilly Circus to Charing Cross to Trafalgar Square It's just one stop on the Bakerloo Line and sometimes you may wait longer for the train uh, and to actually walk between the two it's a very short relatively short walk um, but yeah here we are uh, 1 hour 13 minutes and now I will be resetting the clock and we will go back to Heathrow Airport but this time we will do it using the Heathrow Express which is supposed to be the quickest option to get from London to uh, Heathrow Airport but bear in mind first of all we have to get to Paddington Station from Charing Cross from here from Trafalgar Square in order to get the Heathrow Express which I think the service pattern is every 15 minutes at the moment so it shouldn't really be a problem it's only 15 minute journey from Paddington to Heathrow Airport so yeah let's get to uh, Paddington Station first on the Bakerloo line from Charing Cross to Paddington and yeah, then go from there, get the Heathrow Express We have to go all the way back to Charing Cross Mainline Station because unfortunately, because of the Jubilee um, the Platinum Jubilee celebrations the Charing Cross tube station entrances um, in Trafalgar Square are closed so we have to go through the main line station which is not normally the case 
it shouldn't be a problem for comparisons because all three options which I will pursue today will include this short walk between Ch Charing Cross Mainline Station and Trafalgar Square. long corridor Express. Uh, it was a bit of a run from the tube because I just had two minutes left uh, but I made it and the train literally just left right away which will save me a lot of time because the whole train journey to Heathrow Airport is just 15 minutes it should be 15 minutes to Terminal 5 maybe a little bit longer at the moment we're doing very well just 25 minutes on the stopwatch you will have this massive luggage racks on the Heathrow Express. There are so many of them on this train. You see, this space here is just absolutely massive. So, these screens here will normally show you additional information about the, play, the, the flights which depart from Heathrow you have access to free newspapers, free entertainment, which is included in the price of Heathrow Express. You just have to scan this QR code to gain access to it.
getting the escalator this time. This lifts can take a while, so I'm happy to walk up the escalator. Um, the, of course, there are four or five lifts to use in case you have a lot of luggage, so that's not a problem at all. So let's get back to the spot where we started our Piccadilly line journey. And here we are, exactly the same spot where we began. And the time on the stopwatch shows 45 minutes and 54 seconds. Heathrow Express is obviously much quicker than the Piccadilly line. Although I have to note that I was able to get the Heathrow Express immediately when I arrived at Paddington Station and the train left immediately. Uh, so you may have to wait for an additional 15 minutes. If you just miss the train, you'll have to wait for 15 minutes for the next train. So the total journey time from Charing Cross to Heathrow Airport will probably take you up to an hour. But this is still quicker than the Piccadilly line. The third way of getting to central London from Heathrow Airport is using the Elizabeth Line. Uh, previously known as TfL Rail, uh, it has been rebranded as Elizabeth Line when the new section has been opened between Paddington and Abbey Wood. So we'll get it first to Paddington, then we will change to the Elizabeth Line at Paddington and get it one stop to Tottenham Court Road and then get the Northern Line from Tottenham Court Road to Charing Cross and go to Trafalgar Square. The same starting point as before. Let's get to the Elizabeth line and take a look what it has to offer. The stopwatch is back. Let's go. The good news is, is that now I know where to go. But let's see how long do we have to wait until our train because it can take a while. I think the service is once every half an hour, so it can be a little bit tricky. If we just miss the train, for example, uh, it means we'll have to wait for quite some time. I'll be using my Oyster card, the same as on the Piccadilly line, but let's see how much it costs to get the Elizabeth line from Heathrow Airport to central London. So my train leaves in, in 12 minutes time from now, which is quite a long, quite a long wait. get the Elizabeth line from Paddington to Tottenham Court Road which is just across a few platforms on the other side of the station from the main line Elizabeth line station
the good news is that the Elizabeth line from Paddington to Tottenham Bocha with its service of, which runs every five minutes really and I see that the train has just arrived so let's get it to get to the northern line there is no need to get the escalators because we can simply walk to the northern line and it's actually a very very short walk by the way to be only five minutes to get from Paddington to Tottenham Court Road on the Elizabeth line so impressive weather is gorgeous here in London and it's just the last stretch to Trafalgar Square and here we are back at the Nelson's Column in Trafalgar Square and the time is I am not sure if you can see it on my camera but it is it says one hour and six minutes so to sum up the whole experience of traveling from Heathrow Airport to central London here in Trafalgar Square the Heathrow Express was definitely the quickest way of traveling, followed by the brand new Elizabeth Line and then Piccadilly Line on London Underground in third place. As for the price, there is quite a big difference between the three. On London Underground, the price of my ticket was just £3.70 from Heathrow Terminal 5 Underground Station to Charing Cross Station. Talking about the Elizabeth Line, my ticket from Heathrow Terminal 5 to Charing Cross via Paddington cost me £10.70 and this is together with changing at Paddington from Mainline Elizabeth Line Station to the Underground Elizabeth Line Station you are charged as one journey so you don't pay two separate fares as for the Heathrow Express uh, in fact my ticket cost me the least of all three options I only paid £3.65 for my ticket from Heathrow, uh, fr from Paddington to uh, Heathrow Airport plus £2.50 on the tube the reason being is that I bought my ticket well in advance plus I have a rail car discount if you go on the day and you want to buy a single ticket on the same day on Heathrow Express it will cost you as much as £25 so it, this is by far the most expensive option to take so bear this in mind but at the same time if you book your ticket on Heathrow Express well in advance I believe this is three months at least three months in advance of travel you can get your tickets as cheap as five pounds plus if you have a rail car discount you will get even cheaper for three pounds 65 and make sure to book your Heathrow Express tickets well in advance as well it will save you a lot of money uh, and it is also the quickest option by far uh, Elizabeth line is also not too bad at all uh, the Piccadilly line is by far the cheapest option uh, to take it is a little bit slow but the good news about the Piccadilly line is that it can take you to so many places around central London without any need to change because it has so many stops in central London from Hyde Park to Green Park where the Buckingham Palace is to Trafalgar Square, King's Cross etc. So many places and you can reach them by travelling from Heathrow Airport directly on the Piccadilly line. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Make sure to subscribe comment click that notification bell below as well thank you very much take care